you think he needs a rim I, I don't know yet I don't know if we'd get by with that rim might be able to you know put some uh, JB weld on it the ball joint broke while he was driving so he's lucky he didn't get an accident fin is bent a little bit which I've seen him ripped off of cars before how y'all doing welcome to Marsh Mechanic again I'm Kelly about five or six years ago I sold my business I had an auto repair shop for about 25 about 28 years um, since then, my kids have needed work on their cars, my relatives, friends. So really hasn't stopped other than being a business, helping people with their cars and making a little money on the side. But I didn't sell all my hand tools and some specialty tools. I mean, I'm reduced to a little place like this now at, in the back of my house, but just a little shed. But a couple of days ago, my son's ball joint broke on his old Hyundai. I'm going to try to get it patched up and sell the car because he's going back and forth to school now, college, and the car's just getting, it's worn out. But let me show you how dangerous a broken ball joint can be. The ball joint broke while he was driving, so he's lucky he didn't get an accident. Fin is bent a little bit, which I've seen him ripped off of cars before. Ball joints broke off right there. Broke the lower control arm. The, the uh, fork support for the uh, strut and it connects to the lower ball joint and well lower control arm axle came out of the transmission the knuckle did I'm try to fix that try to get that myself and look at the rim you think he needs a rim I, I don't know yet I don't know if we get by with that rim might be able to you know put some uh, JB weld on it but uh, maybe a tire too I don't know if it's gonna hold air anymore okay so what he needs is this lower control arm but it does disconnect right here from the control arm where it hooks up to your ball joint which is broken i looked online i couldn't find anything that sells this but you can get the whole assembly with this attached for like 30 dollars on on online looked it up on ebay and i found it also it's going to need this fork that attaches to the bottom of the strut that hooks the bottom to the uh, lower control arm you can see that's gone uh, I think I could save his axle. It's still stuck in the transmission back there. As you can see, I could pop it out, put this back in, and probably pack it with some grease. Luckily, he didn't destroy his uh, rotor and pads. So, uh, I got some new parts and some used parts for it. And we're going to try to patch it up today and uh, get him back on the road so he can sell, sell this thing and make a little money to get something better. So, let me show you what, what I got here. Okay, the only thing I got new was the ball joint. I'm not going to put a used ball joint in any car, any car. You don't want to, because you can see what happened to that one. I got the lower fork that hooks to the bottom of your control arm. Got that out of the junkyard. Still has the stabilizer ball link connected. I'll take that off. Uh, and I got a used um, lower control arm, which I really needed was just this. It's what broke off right here to attach it to your ball joint. So I'm just going to take this off because we're patching this thing. I'm trying to do as less work, least work as I can to it. Leave all this on the car. That's fine. I'm going to take this out if the bolts are not destroyed on the other side because it was dragging the ground. And uh, we'll see what we got. Used, used, brand new. All this together, I guess I, I spent maybe $75 at the most. Like I said before, this will unbolt the end of this. You gotta get the right side, the correct side, it's your left side. This is a little L on there. You see, this is completely gone. That's the end of that. Um, bolts on this side look okay, but if you look under here, they are pretty much just sheared off completely where it dragged the ground. So I'm gonna try to get those out and just replace the end of this. If not, we'll just take the take the whole control arm off. Okay. We'll start by trying to get this the end of this control arm off see if i could save it without taking all it off remember this is just a past job and whoever i sell it to i'm gonna tell them everything i did to it so uh there's no problems um so we get these nuts off which uh the bolts which you can see they are sheared off really bad i probably have to hold this part with a vice grips it's like about an 18 up front right here and probably maybe a Maybe a 15 back there. Let's see what we could do with that. Try to grab it up here. See if I can hold it. Hand here. 
But if I went that way, I guess. I see how it's turning. I'm gonna have to hold that with something. Let's see. Get the vice grips on there. Get it as tight as I can. Hold it. And uh that one came off. Go to the next one. Right here. Okay, I kind of overlooked something. I was trying to patch this thing really quick to get him back on the road so he could sell it and get some money, get something else. And I kind of overlooked something. If you look at this control arm, that's the one I'm putting on. The bushing, the control arm bushing is shot on this. So I kind of wasted my time taking all that off when I should have just done it from the beginning and changed all this. So we're going to take the whole control arm off. I don't know why I didn't do this before instead of messing with all these little bolts and everything. But I'm glad I know that it did so. Got those two, those two bolts out right there. I should have just did that before without taking, messing with all this. Yeah, I sheared off all that was right there. And where's the bolt I took out the bottom? show you real quick you can see bolt just broke off i don't know how i didn't notice it before i was in a rush and never going to rush this goes through here and the bottom just got sheared off and it hit the pavement so i gotta go get another bolt and nut right here and just put the whole thing on like i should have done before all right you want to take your brackets off your, your brake lines off right here Stays on that fork right there. Zap those off. Okay. Take one out the side. We've got one coming the other side too. Okay, you want to take off your stabilizer ball link. Right there, it's attached to the um, fork. Right there, well, not right there. Get to that. Okay. Bolt right here. Sometimes it gets stuck. Usually I could just put a, a vice grip behind here or a wrench and hold it, but this thing's so rusted that I'm going to have to cut it off. It's going to break off anyway and I'll replace it. So. right here that holds us onto the strut. Take that out. Yeah. Out. Kind of tap that down. Come off the strut. These fall joints are really easy to get off on these cars. You don't have to press them in or whatever. Put them on a press or use a ball joint tool. There's two bolts. Right there and right there. Take those two out. And uh, your ball joint falls right out. Plus, I mean, naturally if this is hooked to your little control, you only have to take the nut off of that, which you can, but pretty simple. Broken ball joint. All your parts. All your parts right here. Yep, he's lucky. He ain't getting an accident after this. Broken ball joint, low control arm. Piece I was gonna just change, but the control arm destroyed. Um, here's your uh, fork. Hold your uh, brace on. Goes over your strut. Now, well, got all that off. Got a new ball joint. I'm not putting a used ball joint on. Get this axle out of my way. Take this bolt off because uh, if y'all could see back there, I might have showed you before. It came out of the. It came out when the. You gotta get that out. 
I already took the little pin right here. It's not a key. Take out. And uh, just gonna take that nut off. Knock right out. I don't eat. Shouldn't do this because you get flatten out the threads. But I'm kind of fed up in the car right now, so. There we go. Put it back together. New boot form. Put a new boot for it. Um, gotta pry that out. No. Alright, gonna try to pry out the other half of an axle. TV joint, whatever. Right there. Okay. Try to pry it out. When you take it out, make sure you get the oil pan on you because transmission fluid is gonna come out. Let me see. A better angle at it. Kind of pried it out. There it goes. Let's see the joint out. That oil that comes out. It's a little clip that holds it in. Whoop. I'm trying to put this back together. Clean it up real good. Repack it with some grease. We're we'll just patching this color up. And uh, go from there. I get a new boot for this. Pack that really good with grease. Clean this up real good. This simply goes. This goes right back over. So I'm gonna put a new boot, new clamp. Pack this real good. Axle should be fine. Look at this. That's your axle. A little control on ball joint. This little guy right here <laughs> caused all that. I'm gonna put, like I said before, I'm gonna put used parts and everything else, but I'm not putting a used ball joint on. Just not. See? The knuckle broke right here. All that's gone. So, put this in, put it all back together. Wheel also was dragging the ground. I think I could just JB weld this together. Tire. Might have to get a new tire. I don't know. Might hold air. And what are you doing, Trooper? Huh? Trying to get in? This is one of the guys I had working for me in my shop. That's why I had to close. Hope y'all like some of my state-of-the-art equipment right here. Got this bench right here. All right, start putting the, it's the easiest ball joint. One of the easiest ball joints in the world to put on. Showed it caused a lot of problems though when it broke, didn't it? Okay, let's put our two bolts in. I mean, usually you gotta press them. Maybe sometimes take that knuckle off. Do that with this one. The wall like this. Really nice. Up. That ball joint on. Okay. I'll put a control arm in. A little control arm in. Get up under there. Tap it in a little bit. Get it started. There we go. Get our bolts in. You got one right here. And right back there. Well, you can see it, I'll point to it. Uh, right there. Oh. Okay, I got both our nuts in. That's my new nut and bolt. My other one over here. I'm gonna leave it loose so we can move things around, especially when we put our axle in. I see it move it around real easy. Wait before we get everything started, tighten everything up after. I'll tighten those up, and I'm gonna try to put my fork on. Now watch the way I say that, huh? This is gonna go right over here, this side to the back, because you get a notch on the bottom of your strut. Your nut's gonna go 
Your bolt's gonna go right through there. And put that on there. Let's get on that. You got nut and bolt right here. You got one back here. Tighten it up. And these, the axle will fit through here. A lot of them you got to take it loose or take it down or whatever. Drop the ball joint. But this one will fit through. Get it started. I ain't tighten anything up yet. You got a nut and bolt right here. I got my axle in, just hanging there for now, and uh, get that in. All right, I'm gonna get this bolt in there like that. So we're gonna have to pry down on that control one a little bit, line it up. The pry bar. So we get it lined up. go push it through and I, I guess you get the idea okay got everything started a couple threads and tighten up both our bullet control on bolts and tighten up our fork right here upper lower tighten up our axle we don't want to get the ball joint right here and that'll be it put our wheel on and uh, to have a car you could sell for about, about $20, $30 or so, I would think. All right. All right, let's tighten all this stuff up and be done with this. Huh? Please. Then enough. Put your pin in there. Both sides of a control arm. Only that put a socket on it first might help. All joint tight. Right here.
All right. Go over a torque wrench with all of this. Tighten this to whatever torque it's supposed to be. The rest of them I usually just tighten up as good as I can. This is important. Make sure your ball joints torque down correctly too. And uh, put the wheel on. I think I got this piece of... Okay. All right. Got it all together. I'm going to take it for the little test ride. And I'll see you guys. See how she feels? Maybe it's a little drive here. Yeah. Hey, what? It feels really good. It does? Yeah. Really? It's got to be storming when we're doing this. It's not making a bouncing noise anymore. Good. Yeah, I, I do notice that. Here? Yeah. Okay, taking it for a little test drive. Feels pretty good. Not even pulling one way or the other. No. Okay, a little patch job. My son ought to get about $20 or $30 for this car, huh, Cole? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Got that done. A little patch job. So you can sell this car for about 50 bucks now. But seriously, if y'all hear any kind of noise on your front end, like any kind of creak or squeak or bump or thud, get those ball joints checked. Check it yourself. I've seen worse than this. He was lucky with this one. I've seen wheels come off completely, fenders be torn off, and I've seen people get hurt. So appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good week and a good weekend. Thanks.